Right, Marina? Right, Lisa? Uh, right? Yeah. You're right, Lisa? Uh, no? Why well, no, not? This is part of your homework. It'd be good to always write them down. Um, so we have cosecant cubed of x minus cosecant squared of x minus cosecant of x plus 1. So, ladies and gentlemen, when it tells us the factor, Daniel, the one thing that I'm automatically thinking is if I see four terms, i got to automatically think factor by grouping. Yeah. Okay? And remember, when we're looking with our factor by grouping, I can break apart my first two terms. And I'll just, you know, separate them, the first two and the last two. Then what I'll do is I'll factor out a GCF separately for these first two terms. So I look at here and I say, what do these two terms share? Well, the largest, the greatest, I guess common fact you could say, is a cosecant squared. So I'll factor out a cosecant squared of x, and I'll be left with one more cosecant of x minus 1. Does everybody see what I did? Just kind of like that last problem I did, but you're only working with the first two terms. <coughs> then I need to do that again for the next, bet, next term. However, one thing you want to do, ladies and gentlemen, is you need to understand that we want this term and this to kind of be the same when you're factoring my grouping. <coughs> so since this is cosecant of x minus 1, I kind of want to see what do I need to factor out to make a that the same. And if you factor out a negative 1, you'll be left with cosecant of x minus 1. All right? So now, what I did was I just factor out a negative 1. Take out a negative 1 from there, I get positive. Mm -hmm. Take out a negative 1 from positive 1, I get a negative 1. Okay. But the reason why I chose a negative one rather than a positive one is because you want these two to be the same. Why do you want them to be the same? Because you notice they are a common factor of these two terms. Because that's what you're trying to do is you're trying to get another common factor that you can factor out. So when I factor this out out of both <coughs> these terms, I'm left with cosecant of x minus 1, which I factor out. Then what's left over? What's left over is cosecant squared minus 1. So I write that as my other factor. Okay? So what I did was I factored this out, and I'm left with cosecant squared of x minus 1. Well, I, um, it could be it. Well, let's see if we can simplify that at all anymore. Can I rewrite cosecant of x minus 1 and do anything else with it? No, it's really, that's kind of the most simplified version, right? Um, and you wouldn't really, if I looked at the multiplying these, I don't really, if I multiply these out, I don't really think I'm going to get anything happening, right? It's probably going to expand them. What could you write? Cosecant squared minus 1, can you rewrite that as something? You can rewrite it as cotangent? Okay. And obviously you could multiply that through. It's not really going to um, go through on there. Uh, I'll probably be listening. 